Hi and welcome to a new modern league. I think that a good alternative to Merktide Shells could be playing something based on Wizards. Because we got the really powerful Flame of Anor, an incredible card that has a Wizard synergy. And how can we enable that? So I tried different shells, different lists similar to this one, but I was not really successful with those, but someone managed to get 5-0 with this exact list and it looks pretty good. So basically we have two main synergy in the deck. We have the tribal wizard synergy, every single creature we are playing except for the brazen borrower is a wizard we are playing delver we are playing sleep cursed fairy snapcaster mage and spell starter sprite just to enable flame of anor and we also have a fairy sub team we are playing spell starter sprite so we need a good amount of fairies that's why we are playing sleep cursed fairy and brazen borrower just to have some more fairies and turn one sleep cursed fairy into turn two spell starter sprite is just counter spell so that's super good and then we have a lot of good low mana spells just to be able to enable the snapcaster mage have a tempo play style and we are also playing a crazy good card in this shell i mean it's obviously in equipment so it has some limitations but this is pretty good it basically turns every creature we equip it with into a crackling drake and we have a lot of spells to buff our creature so this is likely going to kill your opponent really really quickly then in the sideboard we have the classic cards just to get around um, cascade spells artifact based decks the ring some more combo 8 tool, some graveyard 8 tool. And that's basically it. So let's jump into a league. We're on the draw. But I think that this end is keepable. Sure. Being a tempo deck, I think that remand is a pretty good option. Have to be in stock already, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think they cannot uh, counter it, sadly. End of turn, consider. Yeah, bouncing the creature doesn't seem good enough here. I'm likely going to remand something this turn, so playing Mutavolt is fine. Just to remove the summoning sickness. Okay. Hmm. So probably I'm just going to play Snapcaster into Consider. I could also fetch something with Lorien, but it doesn't seem the right choice. Mm. Sadly, Up the Beanstalk is such an amazing card and it's so risky to, to let those resolve, but it's also true that they cannot actually counter it. Yeah, it's resolved. If they play another Beanstalk, there is no way I can, yeah, whatever. They add way too much value. So one more counter spells. Spell snare is pretty good here. You don't need uh, vapor snag. Remand is kind of risky because if they have up the beanstalk, this is not great. We should probably play around them having the one bring to. Yeah, let's cut, gut shot, and bolt. I don't think I need bolt. I probably, I'm probably just going to cut all these bolts. So we have a lot of free months. I think the descent is keepable. Okay, your turn. So we can go remand in on up the beanstalk and then I can activate mute vault, play spell starter, encounter it. Okay, they're not playing up the beanstalk. I think that they have counter spell probably. Um, yeah, I think that they can play Delver now. Just play around my remand. Your turn. If they shock themselves and play nothing, so it's quite obvious that they have counter spell. Scolding turn. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just going to attack with my small Delver. Your turn. This could be a binding. 
Uh, I think I want to remand this because they wasted two mana. Yeah, I think it's fine. And then I'm going to remand again during their turn. Something else, you yeah. know. Ooh, flusters. Okay, that's fine. Their turn. Okay, they're not casting anything again. And they missed the land drop, which is pretty good for me. Uh, I could attack with the mutable, then I can... Yeah, I think that's two damage. I, I can wait though. I can wait. I want my my mana to cast consider, maybe remand, maybe spell starter sprite. So I guess I can. I can just wait. Flame of Anor. Uh sure, draw two seems quite good to me. Here comes the counter spell. Sure. Okay, now I can probably safely attack with my mute vault. There's something. They have a Busseju. Wow. Sure. Lapcaster Mage is... It's kind of amazing here, actually. We just have to wait. End of turn, I'm probably just going to flashback Flame of Anor. I could go for a Consider. Uh, they go for a Counter Spell. They go for a counter spell. Is there any reason to remand this? I don't think so. Okay, we got another remand. So at least I'm going to cycle these two. But I want to target something else, like the one ring or something. Uh, I could probably cast Brazen Borrower now. This enables my spell starter sprite too. And we can pressure them. Okay, we got the counter spell too. Okay, nice. Mm, that could be a solid shoot, right? Yeah. Guess we are going to remand this. To fairy. Uh, remand. They cast it again. A good counter spell. And they wasted the basically a turn. They still have the solitude, but we have so many creatures. Ooh. Don't mind me. I mean, this is a pretty good spot to do something like that. And now I could uh, keep my remand up again to fight the solitude. Okay, here comes the solitude again. Nice. And this is why Remand is so good in this deck, because we need uh, more interactions, we need more creatures, so we keep, we want to keep drawing cards and have a tempo-based plan. Now, I could go for Lorien again, which is not too bad. Okay. Uh, I think I want to deploy Delver and maybe more Delvers overall. Yeah, I think I'm going to deploy the old squad here. Because we still have Force to counter the One Ring or up the Beanstalk and if they go Solitude that's fine. We're just going to lose one Delver. Ooh, Binding 2? Uh... I think I'm going to counter that one. Let's see. Um, we say no. And then I'm going to consider a way. Scalding turn to at least try to uh, flip this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I can go consider again. I actually think I want this one though. Because if they go something like the one ring, I must have an answer. Now I'm going probably to trade Mute Vault for a Solitude. Is that even right though? No, I don't think so because we have the Lethal on the backswing. No, that's another solitude though. Is it? 
We can at best counter our three mana spell. So if they go to Fairy, I'm just going to counter it. Yeah, that's another Solitude. Yeah, I don't think I have an answer for that. Um, so they go up to seven, and I have seven damage with my Sprite if I manage to flip the Delver. Uh, let's try to take this. We have another spell. Yeah, that's fine though. Okay, we could actually win then. They don't even want to see if I uh, manage to flip the Delver. Okay. I could keep Bolting just for the Solitude, but is that even worth it? Let, let's keep one Bolting. Just because I'm not sure if they are playing the one ring or not. Maybe they, they are just going for the loop without one ring and only with the uh, up to being stock. Spell starter is not great, obviously, in this matchup. Uh, let's let's keep double bolt and cut one spell starter. So, can we keep on the draw with just a consider? Because spell snare is pretty good. Yeah, I think I want to keep. Because being able to counter a bit up the beanstalk turn two feels good enough for me. And we are just looking for a land. Consider should be good enough to find a, a land here. Okay, they're not casting up the beanstalk dome. There's the land, sure. Okay, we got counter spell, Riemann. I'm looking for more lands, but overall I'm quite happy with this end. I mean, if I manage to draw a land, I'm just going to snap caster consider. And they're probably going to cast something this turn. That means they're going to cycle the remand. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play enough caster just to attack them. Easy. <laughs> okay, okay. So far, the deck is feeling quite good. Okay, another top land. So they have countered magic too. But if they want to counter this snap caster, it's totally fine. I don't think I'm going to spell snare. A counter spell now. Stern Scolding. Uh, sure. Okay, I'm going to make the same play. Wow, this time they have nothing. Lorien revealed. I don't think I'm looking for uh for Lorien now. Oh, wow, Solitude just like that. Okay, Solitude in this spot is not bad at all. Yep, sure. Let's consider main phase. I'm looking for Bolt, probably. Uh, yeah, sure, your turn. We can go Snapcaster, consider, and hopefully block this one. But if they have another Solitude, that's going to be bad. I think I'm going to take these and then snap caster end of turn. It's a bit safer because at least we have counter spell for anything worse, like this Omnath, for example. And I think I want to remand these. Okay, I played another land. We got another remand though. Okay, nice. They only have four cards in hand, we still have seven cards, that's crazy. One is an Omnath, which we should be able to, to fight. I mean, if they go Omnath before combat, they can just go Snapcaster, Mage, Remand. Yeah, so we go Snapcaster, Remand, keep up Spell Snare and Spell Pierce. I'd like to remand your Omnath once again. So obviously, okay, they, they had nothing. Nice. We have a blocker for the Solitude. We still have Spell Pierce up. Two mana spell. Spell, uh, that's a binding, yeah. So... 
Michael Pierce is pretty good. <laughs> I'm just going to keep remanding <laughs> the uh, the Omnath. So good. Do you want to trade? Flame of Anor. Uh, why not? I draw and I kill. Okay. Land for turn. Attack you. You play Omnath again. You have six lands, so if I bounce it, you cannot play it again. And we still have the spells in there to counter a counter spell. Oh, there's something else here though. Still going for remand. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Okay, so sadly I lost my last game due to connection issues, so it wasn't something really funny to watch me trying to reconnect to the game. But anyway, let's try to win the next three games. I think that this is a mulligan. This on the other end is not at all, is not bad at all. And so turn one I go Delver, turn two Lorien upkeep. Eat the land drop, another Lorien. Uh, this means that they're probably going to take out counter spell or, or snap caster mage. Let's keep the counter spell in. So land Delver go. Then I want to uh, cycle Lorien upkeep because I don't want to have a land on top, so it's likely going to be better if I get rid of a land right now. Flame of an R, sure. I like that one. Steam vents on top. We get a bolt. We could have bolt too, honestly. Yeah, they probably have bolt. Sure. No, that could be prowess. Mm. Uh, that is indeed an annoying one. So... I have double flame of an ore, which is not too bad just to draw to instant speed. And they can still go counter spell on the not fairy. Oh wow. Well. Do they have counter? Guess I still have to try to cast this flame. That beers, okay. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Double bolt. I mean, I cannot even go double bolt, but it's not worth it. So that is probably creativity. From what I'm seeing. Which means that counter spells are pretty good. I have to counter that one though. And next turn they could go for... They could go for Creativity for two, which I cannot really fight back. Okay. They could also go creativity and keep up spell peers. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. Oh, it's just a fable. Yeah, sure. I cannot let that Vrenon Six um activate the emblem, so I'm just going to ball the Vren now. Okay, that's not too bad. Throw to kill the shaman. Come on, please stop having answers. Reprieve. Wow. 
Okay, I guess we are just dead then. I mean, if they have creativity now, there is no reason to not cast it. So I, I guess that if they are just going to pass a turn like this, they don't have a creativity. Okay, here comes the creativity. I'm ready. Okay, fine. We got out skilled. So we want force explosives. Pell Pierce, Pell Snare, Sarah Bling also. Um, they are also playing Reprieve. Single target removals are generally not good. Reaper Snag is not good either. Cast into the fire is okay. Being able to remove double, um, double dwarf is fine. Surgical is a bit of a trap, I think. Okay, keep. Go. Uh, steam vent, cycle for basic island, play basic island. I think I can play a uh, cursed fairy. Mm, I don't really want to play explosives right now. Okay, here comes the friend. Sure. Now I have Snapcaster, Spells, Nair, Remand, and I could also just uh, remove one stun counter from the Fairy. Snapcaster into Spells, Nair is super fine. Maybe they're going to miss the land drop. I can't hope so. They had it. Okay, fine. We got a land, actually. Okay. Isn't going to play Explosives. Going to tap with my Snapcaster Mage. End of turn, I remove a stun counter. I mean, we are pressuring a lot. If they want to trade um, a Dwarf token for my Snapcaster, is is okay. Could also just go Flame of an Or. They go Bolt. Fine. Your turn. Lilane Binding too, wow. Uh, okay. On the explosives. Sure, it makes sense. I think I'm going for Flame of an Ore now. Yeah, I think so. Throw to kill this. No, no, I need to pay like these. Spell starter spell. Right. I think I want to fetch before they do something crazy. Another steam vents is fine. Go. We can counter a two mana spell with this sprite, or I'm just going to remand creativity, I guess. Another land. If I activate Immutable, I still have 4 mana up, but I think I want to keep Snapcaster Flame of Anor as an option. So I'm just going to talk with the Fairy. And this way I also can counter a 3 mana spell. And that's a Fable. Yep, I think I'm going to activate Immutable. Try to counter Fable. They could have a Bolt, target Immutable, and it means they cannot really go Remand. Oh, that was easier than expected. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's take our last Team Vents out of the deck. So now I have six damage into play. Which are enough to win the game. Because if they fetch for a dwarf token. Oh, okay, fine. Your turn. What's your plan with just four mana? Nice. On the draw, I kind of think I want to get rid of the artifact just to play Pithy Needle on the brand. Mm, yeah, I cannot keep this hand, sadly. The Mulligan too, though. Okay, this is better. 
Uh, double Flame of an R is not that good though. Delver turn 1 is risky. I think the Double Flame though is not something they want to keep. So if I go Delver turn 1 and they go Vren, this is going to be so bad. But I think that if they want to play Delver, this is the best turn anyway. Okay, let's see. Do you have Vren? You do not. Okay, so. Uh, I guess I want to. Now I could draw a remand. Not going to. Go to Snapcaster Mage, sadly. Fine, fine. Just going to attack, cycle a bunch of Lorien. What could they have? A uh, binding to fairy creativity, <laughs> no, something like that. We need counters though. Basically, any kind of counter is fine. Uh, we got steam vents. We got another basic island from these. A basic island from the Lorien too. On top, and on top of my deck, there's a remand. Okay. So this is not a wizard anymore. Do I still want to play the steam vents on top just to be able to cycle Lorien? I think that it gives me a bit more options overall. Yeah, Bolt, that was kind of obvious. That's fine. Your turn. Now they know about me, uh, about my remand. I think I should draw two. They could have spell pierced. That's fine. Yeah, sure, sure. They're missing land drop. We kind of need to pressure them a bit more. Now there's Nubcaster. That's fine. I don't want to cycle this Lorien now, though. I mean, I, uh, it's kind of hard because I could go Snapcaster Flame of an Orison if I manage to draw land, but also I want to keep Lorien as a draw three because this game could go for uh, a lot longer. But they have a dwarf token. And yeah, I think that. Probably getting land into Flame of an Ore is better now. Okay, we got a counter spell too. I'm not going to play Flame of an Ore right now though, because they could have another spell pierce, and if I just tap out like that, I'm dead. So I need to wait until end of turn to try to do that play. I take one, sure. For four cards remaining in your hand. We do nothing. Okay, let's try to go for this Nubcaster play. They have a lot of interactions, probably. Okay, there's a Bolt. So you can cast Flame uh, only to draw two, which I think is still totally fine. Okay. Okay, that's uh, good. Get a couple of cards here. I don't think that they can easily beat our end of counter spells, snapcasters, mage, and, and such. Take one more from the dwarf, sure. Fetch for a top steam vents. Remove two stun counters from my fairy. I don't really need mana right now. If they want to waste the removal on the fairy, it's fine. Not going to counter anything like that anyway. And top. And throw. Consider. Okay. Pass the turn. I can untap instant speed my fairy to block the dwarf token. That's an option. Another fetch land, sure. I untap and block. Binding. Uh that's fine, right? Yeah. It's totally fine. You need to pay two, so you waste a turn just to get rid of my fairy. End of turn, I cast Consider. I could go Snapcaster Consider again, but I'm not sure I want to. We have double Remand though. Yeah, probably it's the right choice. And I want more threats. Sure, why not? Play Fairy, play Scalding Tarn, pass the turn. Uh, I could also just attack. I think that we are winning the race overall. So, yeah, let's attack. 
because they have a lot of fetch lands. So even if they got if they get another dwarven mine to to block the snapcaster, it's not that much of a problem. Okay, fine. Take one down to ten. I think that they're going to do much more. Random six. I think I'm just going to play spell stutter. Fetch for a basic and remove two stun counters. On top, draw another fairy. Uh, play the fairy and I could untap and attack. I think that's fine overall. Attack for four. You see, that I have double remand and a counter spell. But nothing too scary, I add, I think. We have a Good amount of interactions. The fairy. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I cannot let that happen. Okay. They could go land fetch. No, they do nothing. Sure. Mm, I couldn't top the fairy, but I don't think. I, I think that this is a bait. Move a stun counter on top. Throw. Another remand. Uh, what should I do? I could go. I think I'm just attacking for four. Next turn we have lethal. I don't even need to play with this pithing needle. I'm not dead to a double bolt anytime soon. I think we are fine. Down to seven. There's the creativity. Remand. A veil of summer or something like that. Uh, remand, veil of summer. Bell Pierce. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the game is over. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, double colorless land does not much here. This is better. Uh, yeah, this is better. I'm going to keep bottom Lorien, play Ezekiel Island past the turn. Oh, we are facing that deck, huh? Sure, mm, I didn't need the second Steam Vents, whatever. Let's play Steam Vents, and hopefully, I'm going to counter a one mana cost spell. So, against a deck like that, do I want stone, pithing needle, explosives? Casting to the fire, I think it's pretty good now. Surgical is not bad either. If they go wall of roots, am I just casting Vreeman? Okay, I think I can counter that. I don't think I'm actually going to have a better chance to just counter something. Okay, and they did nothing. So I place holding turn, I attack. Vreeman something. They could have a Greased next turn. Man, Basic Island, Lorian. I could also just go Brazen Borrower to, to race them. You know what? I think I want the Brazen Borrower here. Just to be a bit more aggressive if they don't have I life total. Endurance just like that. Okay, I was not expecting the Endurance main deck. Okay, play Brazen Borrower on top. I need something to get rid of that Endurance though. Flame of an ore now would be great. I mean, I'm looking for that flame. Another spell starter sprite, though. Uh, I think I want to play this on top and be able to go remand into spell starter. Okay, this is looking actually not that bad. We can now art counter a greased. We can remand. Um, we can remand the Yogmoth. I'm still going to take a lot of damage, which is not great. I think I want to remand these Wall of Roots. Just to gain some tempo advantage, I'm looking for Flame of an Ore. Okay. Sure, so now I take a bunch. Oh, they're not attacking. Fine. Do you want to cycle these? I think so. I'm looking for Flame of an Ore, nothing else. And wasting a turn just to draw three with a. Uh, a spell starter into my end, it's not great. They could have a cord. Flame of an ore, there it is. Okay, so 
Delver into play, I think it's fine. Then I go flame. Draw two, kill the endurance. I cannot spell stutter Yogmoth anyway. They only have one black mana. I think it's fine for me to pressure them by casting now Flame of an Ore. I could be wrong. But I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have played this Delver. Okay, they play Wall of Roots. Still missing another black, so they need Cord to want to cast um Dogmoth. Okay, they have nothing then. End of turn cord. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it couldn't. Um, art countering. Spell starter on cord is not good enough anyway. What else could they do? I think that honestly, this game is over. Uh, if I draw another flame of an ore, they already have so many cards in hand. Lorian. I could draw a bunch of cards, I guess. Looking for what though? Bolt. Let's just draw, but I don't think I have any out, honestly. Go. I need to survive this turn. Which is unlikely. They have seven cards in hand. Okay, there's the combo. So they just need uh Another chord or blood artist or anything like that, really. This make creature cannot be targeted. So I go land, flame, draw to kill the Yogmoth, or, or at least try to. We still have the triple blue. What do we do if they go for? Or cord snapcaster remand. They're losing so much life points though. That they cannot kill them by removing two stun counter because I need two more mana to on top the fairy. So this is not lethal for me. But yeah, if they go for cord, I'm just going to play snapcaster remand. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. We could actually win. So I think I'm going to fetch now though, because I don't want them to go um to go card on my second fetch. Seju. Okay. So we have remand and spell starter sprite. Wrist. I think I'm supposed to remand this, but then they play it again. Sacrifice this one, pay two. This still can. Uh, well, I need to remand anyway. Maybe I can draw another remand or a counter spell. Over. So now they go greased again. Sure. Sure, okay. Pay to... I cannot really cast uh, Snapcaster Mage. I think I'm going to cast Spell Starter Sprite though in end of turn, just to get rid of the Priest. Which otherwise could be a bit too annoying. Yeah, you attack here. Is attacking face that's we won. Uh, should I attack first? I mean, let's attack first. I don't think that it really matters, but let's attack first. Bolt you. Okay, nice. So, as I said, one stone, one pithing needle cast. Vapor snack could actually be good. Spell snare. Is fine, right? Uh, better than spell peers, I think. Got through these. Okay, we can kill some of their early interactions. This is pretty good because they cannot really block flying creatures, but it'll also be too slow, probably. 
Fresh Down is not crazy good against that deck. Stern Scolding is pretty good in, on the other end. Counterspell, not sure. Spell Starter is fine. We have a lot of one toughness creatures though, which are just going to get destroyed. So maybe cut one or two spell starter. Uh, custom to the fire, I like it because Cauldron is such a big problem for me. Spell Snare is in for the same reason. Stern Scolding is fine. I could probably. I think I can cut two Remands. And I kinda want to cut one Lorian because I think that everything else is a bit better. But I could be wrong. I mean, we have so many good cards that I want to play, but I don't want to over sideboard anyway. Okay, we're on the play. Uh, I think that this end is keepable. We're on the draw, sorry. He didn't play anything. Uh, okay, fine for me, I guess. Very into play, go. Did they keep and without lands? No, it's not possible. Well, I have no idea. Okay, uh, I want to play Delver too. Yeah, I need to be aggressive against a deck like that, which is trying to combo, which is trying to combo based on life points. I mean, they got lands, what? Hokish Bow Masters. Uh, that's, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, Delver is down, sadly. We have a cast into the fire, though. I could go for Flame of an Orb, but I'm going to lose a bit too many life points, so this is totally fine. And your turn. So you have one turn to cast something. Uh, you could go nothing. Nice. Bolt. Okay, fine. So we have some good tools. We have the Snapcaster Mage 2. They could have Endurance, but I'm not too scared because they have Flame of an Ore. Yeah, there's the Endurance. Should they go Flame now? Just to... I mean, why not? And should they shuffle Flame back into the deck? I kind of want it into my graveyard, obviously. Yeah. So these resolves, I go flame, throw to kill the endurance now. I don't really want them to have creatures into play. Because they gain a lot of advantage out of, I don't know, cauldron, cord. I, they don't play Eldritch Evolution anymore, but also that one. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I think I'm looking for another flame of an ore. Easy. Uh, yep. Draw two and kill you. Sure, I don't really mind that. And I could go Delver again or Pithy Needle or Stone. I kind of want to play Delver though. Because I don't really know if I want to name Greast or Yogmoth out of these. And. Also, stone without any creature into play is not great. Or Kishbow Masters, okay, fine. Yeah, it's annoying. Draw one. Remand, okay. So, I need Ball to kill this if I want to play Remand, so I'm likely going to cast only one of these two, which is likely going to be Pithy Needle on the Yogmoth. I'll just keep attacking. This deck actually looks pretty good. We have always so many cards in hand and um, yeah, I think that we are not in a bad spot against most of the top meta decks. This, this kind of interaction is pretty good. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to play Brazen Borrower. Another Orkish Bowmasters. Okay. That is an annoying one. Delver. Uh, um, I want to play Delver, Bolt, Freeman. No, that's not going to do much. Surely I'm attacking. 
Because if I play Delver, I cannot play Remand. But I think it's worth it anyway. Because at least this way I have Lethal next turn. They cannot really play Yogmoth, so Wall of Roots is fine. They attack with that one. Uh, that means that they could have another Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, I think I'm fine taking two or three. Really bolt them. Uh, I kind of want to. Because they can go Snapcaster Bolt again next turn. Mm, nope, that's not going to work. Now I'm just going to attack with the Fairy. Do we have Endurance? Did you not? Okay, Snapcaster, Bolt you. What do you have for me? Nothing, nice. Okay, we're on the play finally. And I like this end. Because I have Fairy Turn 1 into Spell Starter on the play seems like one of the best opening ends ever. So yeah. Steam Bands on top, play Fairy, pass the turn. We cannot really play Counter Spell right now, but I don't think that we are going to need it. And we are against a feature based deck, probably. Or another Beanstalk uh, nonsense. Uh, go. I need to draw a land though next turn. Okay, another Beanstalk nonsense. But at least if they go Beanstalk now, we have a counter. Okay. Here it is, the Vrenen 6. They could also have Solitude and just kill me here, but hopefully they do not. Oh, please, Solitude, please. No, it's Solitude. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. I mean, it was a 2 for 1 anyway. Uh, Vrenen 6 picking up a land. So, what do we want here? Lands obviously are fine. Okay, that's not something that I can actually uh, use to win the game. So I guess I'm just playing another fairy and post turn. I mean, at least Ren is no. Uh, what is this going to do, really? They wasted two cards and two mana to kill one fairy. I mean, that's fine for me. Consider I need to dig for lands. Okay. Still cannot play my counter spell, so I'm just going to go for a mute vault on the Vran. Oh, they have a bolt too? Wow. Well, okay, no. They actually don't. Your turn. So if they go Omnath, we have flame, which is great. I mean, as you see, this fairy is so good because they are having our time killing it, and we have Flame of an Ore always enabled. So this is actually pretty good. And I really need to kill that elf lingo. Um, am I going to do that though? Flame ear seems like fine choice. Into draw land, hopefully. Okay, consider. I still cannot play this Delver. I mean, I can play Delver just to deal one damage to the Vran and have Bolt the next turn. Yeah, I think that actually is fine. I'm fine trading one Delver for one loyalty on the Vran. They already used one Fury, don't think that they have more. Ooh, binding on the fairy. Yeah, still fine. We have to bolt for the Vren. Main goal is just to bolt the Vren. Bolt the Vren, play, consider, get island, keep up counter spell, something that, that should be fine. Unless they go Omnath. If they go Omnath now into land, I need another flame of an ore. The one ring. 
Yep. Yep, that's fine. So, yeah, you bolt that one, and we have spell starter or counter spell up. It's the best I can do, really, right now. Cannot counter the Teferi, which is going to... Uh, should I still... I, I think I should still go consider spell starter just to have something to play. I have to be in stoke. Uh, yeah, this is looking a bit too bad. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to concede. Let's go next. We cannot come back from these. You have too many engines already online. So I want to cast, I want force. I want spell pierce and spell snare. I want pithing needle, cutting again, gut shot, lightning bolt, vapor snag. Uh, the artifact is a bit too slow and clunkier, probably. And also one spell starter. And that should be it. So we could go turn one Delver. Uh, I think it's fine. I cannot play the ball, but Remand is online, Force is online, so doesn't seem too bad to me. Delver go. Okay, this could be an Alfling. If they go Alfling, uh, I need to draw. Yeah, I need to draw Steam Vents. Consider. Okay. Just in consider, I need a fetch. Lame. I think it's too early for that. Nice. Okay, perfect. There you go. Bolt. Yalfling. Attack with my insect. Prismatic ending. Do I force a prismatic ending? Uh, do I force a prismatic ending? Let's force it. I'm not sure if it's the right choice, but I want to force it. Wow, they missed the land drop. Okay, it was the best choice of my life. Okay, now can we can remand anything they play. They are in a bad spot. Okay, nice. Wow, they kept a risky end. Another prismatic ending. Uh, remand. Okay, nice. Next turn, you can go Snapcaster, remand again. <laughs> Talk with Delver. Your turn. You could also try to cast uh, Teferi if they manage to get a land. And they're just going for that. Uh, let's fetch first. Basic. Please not cast her. Remand. And remand your prismatic ending. So if you have another fetch, you still have to take three damage here, so it's fine. Uh if they cast again. Oh, they missed land drop. Even better. Nice. Uh we can send them down to one. Which seems totally fine to me. I think I'm going to play around the fury though, and not okay. Uh, I could get. What could they find? What could they find out of this consider? Bolt is not good enough, but I'm still going to cast consider now because this means that they probably don't have a fury. Okay, that's that's good. So the exile. That makes sense, but now they're dead to my my bolt does this mean that they have fury i mean i don't really care if they have fury now they just need to tap them out basically so they go prismatic ending on one of these delver or they cast fury and then we have snapcaster bolt to win the game and if they have just prismatic ending that's not going to be enough okay beanstalk sure beanstalk into fury it's still not good enough Okay, nice. 
So yeah, they're playing um, all things. So on the draw, having Lightning Bolt is better. And I think I'm going to cut two remands. I need to mulligan this one, sadly. Uh, okay, we have the top land of our deck, which doesn't look great here, but uh, yeah, this end overall is not too bad, I guess. We could also draw an untapped land. Okay, we did nothing. Untapped land, please. Okay. Yeah, fair turn one was a bit better. Already have the beans, though, huh? Can I somehow beat that? I don't really think I can, sadly. So now, if they go to Fairy, this is my best bet because at least they cannot really bounce it. But then my remand is kind of useless. I need more lands. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not going to surrender just because I want the 4 1. But they need a land to kill the Teferi now. That's not a land. This is just going to play another Fairy. Uh, this is not looking good, sadly. I mean, we had to face, like, you didn't see, but the second game was against Up the Beanstalk 2. So, I, I don't know, even if I didn't disconnect, if I was able to actually beat them. That gives them so much value. This card is so scary. I mean, <laughs> imagine being happy just to have a remand to, to draw a card in a turn while they are just going to basically turn every single card in a better remand. Uh, so, wow, they have something else. They have all playing too. Yeah, it cannot counter anything anyway, really. I think I'm just going to keep playing fairies and pass the turn. I could play a Delver, but I'm just too scared of a Fury or, or a Vren and Six at this point. Okay. At least they are wasting a lot of mana on my fairies. They could now just bounce the Beanstalk, draw to Keithing Needle. It's time to play Delver into Piffing Needle, naming. I don't even know if I should name Teferi. I'm more scared of the One Ring, so I'm going to name the One Ring. I mean, if they bounce the Delver, it's, it's okay. Let's see, there your next move. Okay, they bounce there. Getting close to my Bolt range. They have six cards in hand. Still no Omnath though, which is fine. Uh, okay, they left a lot of mana up, so they could have Solitude. Not drawing lands though, so it's getting harder and harder to fight back. I mean, imagine having one more land here, just to be able to untap this maybe one turn earlier. Uh, keep Bolt up. They're the casting with double green and five mana. Guess you need double white to cast Solitude. Source to blow shares on a creature that draws one. Imagine a card like that. Yeah, I cannot come back anymore. Even if I draw land now, I have to bolt the Solitude. And then, or I could go Flame of an Ore, Solitude, draw two. Maybe that helps a bit. But they have six cards in hand. And they still cannot attack with the fairy, sadly. Played on, on top land. What else do you have? Okay, I can now finally get rid of the fairy. They want to solitude and uh oh no, <laughs> that's so bad. That is so bad. Well, I'm still going to Bolt the fairy. I play Solitude, Exile the fairy. We have a blocker, but I'm not going to waste mana on the Solitude. Another source of blow shares that draws one. Yep, you got it. 
They have seven cards in hand. Uh, I guess it's your turn. And I think that they have another Teferi, probably. I'm almost sure that they have another Teferi. Here it comes. Okay, uh, listen here. I think that we are done. <laughs> Actually, the deck felt better than I thought. I wanted to try Rune Chanter Spike. Sadly, we didn't have the chance to actually cast it. But other than that, it's a pretty cool deck idea. I think it's totally viable. Sadly, Up the Beanstalk is a card that kind of wrecks all these one for one decks. I mean, if you want to just counter. They are still going to draw one. If you want to use your removals, they're still going to draw one. So it's kind of risky. We need to counter that up the beanstalk early. So maybe I had to try to dig for a spell pierce, spell snare, turn one. So maybe I had to mulligan a bit harder. Overall though, this deck looks pretty good. If you love fairies, they are actually back finally. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.